Hey everybody, Becky here. Welcome to my channel. I thought I would give you guys a little bookshelf tour so you can see my setup and see kind of the bookshelf decor and the books that I like to put on my bookshelf. My bookshelf is just a little trio of Billy Ikea bookcases and they're in the corner of my living room and it makes a nice little reading corner. So I thought I'd give you a little tour and see how I've got it all set up and maybe you guys could give me advice for reorganizing in the future. I'm not opposed to that and it'll definitely need to happen because I want to make a reading room in the extra bedroom that we have upstairs and so some books will be shifting and this bookshelf is like almost bursting so it definitely needs it. So let's take a look at my bookshelf. All right so this is my little bookshelf corner, my little reading nook. I've got a nice little seating there with comfy pillows and a globe to look you know prestigious <laughs> just kidding that was gifted to me but I like this corner setup and I have a little coffee table stand end table over there and I love antiques and thrifting so this lamp has the mid-century modern vibes but I actually found it in my father-in-law's attic he's gonna toss it so I took it this little end table is an antique as well the top actually lifts up it's an antique vanity with like a little light and mirrors and there's drawers on the sides here too for makeup storage but I use it for living room storage so let's get into what we all want to look at the bookshelves these are from Ikea it's the Billy bookcases and I just got the three square shaped ones and put them in that corner there I used to have the tiniest little corner shelf there and I think this just looks so much better let's start with the top I've got an old Hogwarts it's kind of like a Polly Pocket set I've had it since I was a kid my mom saved it for me and then I just made that little home sweet home sign, little wooden thing. And then I've got my Taylor Swift Eras tour confetti on display up there along with the day I saw her. And I have my uh, throne of glass set up here. It's such a big set. I wanted to keep it all together, but I wasn't sure how to do that on my shelves. So I thought I would display it up here until I get my reading room uh, set up. And I've got this huge like Egypt coffee table book as well. I love ancient Egypt. All right, first shelf over here, I've got some tarot cards that I got in Sedona, very spiritual place. This was a mystery pack and this guy's a little squishy. I have my autograph book from when I was a kid and this thing is so cool and then I have the Ballad of Frankie Silver so Frankie Silver is actually an ancestor of mine she was the first woman to be hung in North Carolina I believe so I had to pick up that book since it's about someone I'm related to descended from you no know, on the back of these shelves too I actually used contact paper to line the back just for a little bit more color and pattern I love the idea of wallpaper but I'm scared to commit to it on my walls so I thought this was a nice little wallpaper touch without fully committing. A shelf below this one, we have some of my older, prettier books. This is a first edition of Gone with the Wind, so I'm very proud of that one. That one is a yard sale find. And I recently went to Tokyo, and they have all kinds of little mystery uh, little mystery boxes where you don't know what you're gonna get so I have a bunch of little mystery boxes I got in Tokyo and this is a little change purse from Tokyo Disneyland it's shaped like the Disney trash cans that is a thing <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was really fun and we've got this cute little Viking guy too my husband's name is Bjorn very Norwegian so we thought we would have a little Viking guardian on the bookshelf speaking of Vikings we've got a fate inked in blood on this next shelf down Tokyo Disneyland had to have those sunglasses these are all kind of my old antique vintage books as you can see some of them are kind of falling apart but I can't part with them they're so cool I have a thing for old books look at the front of this one this one is so pretty so I keep them here that's just the antique bookshelf but as you can see I need more shelves because they're starting to stack up look at this one too the book of Christmas it's so cool it has like Christmas origin stories and like where Christmas carols came from and sweet little short stories it's the coolest thing and then I love this one it's an old Old book of love poems called because I love you this one has a gorgeous cover that oh my gosh I just love that too and then I think this one's actually like in German it's like an old German hymnal is this the German one yep this is in German 
So very interesting. The shelf is kind of just random books that I like. We've got Tales of the Beetle, the Bard, uh, Little Princess, just random books. I've even got like Victorian entertaining and Victorian etiquette. I love history and like how people lived. So those are in there. This I made a long time ago when I was young for like a graphic design. <laughs> a graphic design uh, class and it was the time of the twilight obsession so i made vampire in a box which is funny and i don't think i have a career in graphic design but uh funny had to keep it and then um a cute little perry the platypus plushie and i love old postcards like i just like to keep them on hand in case like you never know when you're gonna write someone a cute little note so i like keeping those on hand this shelf is more random stuff i've got some of my old wedding photo albums in here let me show you our photographer sent us just this beautiful album and i think the pictures turned out oh so good this is one of my favorite pictures from my wedding and then we're getting married all my bridesmaids the groomsmen it was a good time so love that i have this so pretty and then I also have some national parks and like road trip books. We like to go to the national parks and do road trips occasionally. I love journals. I can't resist journals. And Lady and the Tramp is my favorite Disney movie. This journal is just so pretty. And uh, the bookmark for it is her collar. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I can't bear to use it unless I have a really good idea for it. Um, and then I have some Akatar copies. I'm lending some out, but I have a nice, pretty special edition of those books too that I'll show you. And um, old Playbill from the first Broadway show I ever saw, The Pirate Queen. You probably haven't heard of it. I don't think it was very successful, but I enjoyed it and I got it signed by all the cast. <laughs> And this bottom shelf here, so this is really cool. This is a special edition set of all the Harry Potter DVDs. I'll have to show it sometime. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see. But it folds out and it has like all these hidden compartments and souvenirs that come with it. It's really cool. I've got another wedding album of all my wedding photos here. And then this book is really cool. It's a book of Disney costumes and... I'm an amateur cosplayer and I just love costumes. This is a great book to have. You can see some of the costumes nice and up close. Okay, moving on to the middle section of the shelves. I have my special Valaris edition of Akatar. So these are all the Akatar books and the pages line up to make this beautiful picture of Valaris. Oh, so pretty. And there's like bookmarks hidden inside. I've got La Haba guarding. I'm lending out all my copies of Crescent City right now. They're usually right there. But La Haba is my bookshelf guardian. This I got from Tokyo Disneyland. A lot of the food there comes with like little souvenir cases or plates. I got this with a macaron. I had to have it. It's a little box. Um, so cute. I love everything in Tokyo. <laughs> and then I got this cute little hedgehog guy he came with lahaba as a free gift from the etsy store that i got it from and then i love that edition of little women so pretty okay second shelf down in the center i have a little book nook this was the hardest thing for me to build i am crafty and this took me forever i didn't realize there was going to be like wiring involved it was crazy it lights up i'll show you there it is, all it up. It's really cool. Like, I love all of the details. It's super neat. Turned out looking really good, but yeah, putting this together, I think I watched a whole season of Selling Sunset while putting this together. It took a while, and I don't think I did it fully right. Other things, I have a little flying Dumbo keychain. This is from Tokyo Disneyland. They have little um, surprise like Dumbo machines where you don't know what toy you're going to get. I got that from one of those. This was like the coolest souvenir I got at Tokyo Disneyland. You could choose different parts of this whole setup to customize your little trinket. So I chose like the ear plates come off. So I chose Chippendale. You could choose like little banners to go with it again Chippendale and then there's like this little spinny thing in the middle that's different that you could choose this base you could choose different bases you could choose um you could put little letters here to customize a saying or something really cool I went wild like choosing all the different elements of this trinket and I have the prized possession of the 90s the princess die 
by Beanie Baby. This was the it toy at one point. And um, my mom saved it, so she let me have it for my shelf. Like, this is serious business. We've got the tag protector and everything. So who knows? I might be rich. And then keeping up with the nostalgia, we've got the Ink Heart trilogy here and the Tenth Kingdom book. I loved that mini series growing up. Have you watched the Tenth Kingdom? Let me know because it's so fun to find other people who know what that is. And they did do a book version. I actually haven't read this yet, so maybe I need to do a video where I read the book, watch the series, and like do a recap of that because I think that would be so fun. And then I have to show you guys this book as well. This is actually a sticker anthology and it has the most amazing stickers inside Ugh, perfect for like scrapbooking or reading journals junk journals i love this sticker book oh my gosh it's so pretty and it just looks pretty on the shelf too so had to get this when i saw it Okay, third shelf down from the center. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. So this is where I'm currently storing all the bookmarks I'm making this year. I'm making beaded bookmarks for every book I'm reading in 2024. Stick around, I'll do some book review books where I'm making the bookmark while talking about the book. And I have an amazing advanced reader copy of Lady Macbeth from Ava Reed hidden back there. I am getting into book binding, so uh, I did bind myself some manacled volumes. I need to bind the third one. Just a reminder, keep fan fiction free. Do not buy or sell fan fiction on Etsy. That's just a no-no. And then we've got my Taylor Swift music box, snow globe. Oh, this is so pretty. Love that. And then I got this in Japan. I got this in the city of Nara and they have sacred deer that just roam the city and people can feed them cookies. So I got this little guy and he holds a little fortune for you. Some of the books on the shelf, this, this book's really cool. I should put it with my antique books, but I wanted it next to the reproduction book that I found later. So this book was published shortly after the sinking of the Titanic and it's it documents like firsthand accounts. And I think this is where the legend of the uh musicians on board playing while it sank came from which i don't think that's a true story but i think it's like talked about in this book i went to the titanic exhibit that they have at the luxor in las vegas and they had a reproduction of that the book that i found i found that other book at a yard sale so i thought i had to pick that up so i could have like a working copy that i could actually pick up and read and not fear damaging that book further because it is it is in pretty poor condition so thought that was so cool to find this this is a whole shelf of harry potter the different editions that i have have I have my editions that I bought like as they were coming out so those are very nostalgic to me just a little hidden outlander book over there as well this is from Hong Kong Disneyland it's a little spooky Alina Bell and her eyes actually light up and then I found the UK editions the UK paperback ed paperback editions of the Harry Potter series at a yard sale too so I had to get those I like getting different versions of the books and then these are just so pretty if you haven't seen these yet check them out they're gorgeous illustrated versions all right vampire corner we have a bottle of true blood because i am a truby team eric and then we have the twilight books these are not the ones that i had when i was in high school i did re-pick them up at uh, thrift stores because i wanted to reread them from an adult's perspective and these are probably the only books i have that are super annotated and the annotations are pretty funny if you take a look at them because i am a jaded adult <laughs> so i was like red flag bella red flag so those are my twilight books these are just some old red wall books some books that i read from college i took a native american literature women's literature class and that was a super interesting class so these are from that class and the last shelf in the center here more illustrated harry potter editions this gorgeous book of uh, the hamilton broadway show with like behind the scenes wicked the musical uh behind the scenes broadway show coffee table book a dita von t's book i love dita von t's so much another album this album's really pretty my aunt gave me this and it has a bunch of pictures from when i was a kid gorgeous antique album and then oh 
gosh, look at this one. I love unicorns and I never grew out of that love. And so this I got in Sedona, Arizona too. And it's just this really pretty magical unicorn book. So, oh my gosh, loving that. Oh, and this too. I got Buffy the comics as a gift because it continues from where season seven ends. I need to read this. If you read this, let me know if it was good. All right, third and final shelf. We're starting at the top. Little Chippendale corner. Chippendale, they're some of my favorite Disney characters. I like these little guys climbing up the book. These guys I got all in Tokyo, Disney, and Hong Kong Disneyland. And then we've got Cookie Ann here. Uh, Duffy and Friends is a big thing over in the Tokyo Disney Parks and Hong Kong Disney Parks. So they have this whole other set of characters that are really big there. And I loved Cookie Ann. And take a look at this from my childhood. Love it so much. Okay, this is my signed CD uh, shelf. So first of all, we have My Roman Empire, The Civil Wars. Uh, saw this band live in person when they came to Seattle. <laughs> Fall, fell in love with them, love them to the moon and back. Their music is so gorgeous. They're the nicest people. And then they broke up and I was forever sad, but oh my gosh, I love them so much. Taylor Swift, lover, signed. This is kind of a prized possession. One of my friends actually just gave this to me out of the kindness of their hearts. So shout out to Chelsea, amazing. And then 30 Seconds to Mars CD. I had Jared Leto sign this because I thought he was dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw them in concert. So that was pretty cool. I also have a little Titanic box back there. Like you can see all of my hyper fixations from when I was a kid on this bookshelf. Titanic, Ancient Egypt, Beanie Baby. <laughs> <laughs> antique books they're all here oh and let's talk about this book for a minute this book um one of my college professors recommended this and i thought it was such a cool concept it's called severance listen to this let me see if i can get after decapitation the human head is believed to remain in a state of consciousness for one and a half minutes in a heightened state of emotion people speak at the rate of 160 words per minute inspired by the intersection of these two seemingly unrelated concepts this author, Robert Olin Butler, has written 62 stories, each exactly 240 words in length, that capture the flow of thoughts and feelings that rush through a mind after the head has been severed. Among the characters, both real and imagined, are Medusa, Anne Boleyn, a chicken, and the author himself. What an interesting concept. This is so cool. So just a collection of short stories from the perspective of people getting beheaded. But I thought that was such an interesting like writing prompt to give yourself as an author. So that's a very interesting read. Uh, and then these are like more short, short stories so and poems. So very nice. Oh, and don't mind the little wine book over there. We love wine in this household. <laughs> More old favorites, His Dark Materials. That's one of my favorite series. Narnia is a favorite. I loved the Sword of Truth series growing up too. I thought they were very epic. And then more Tokyo Disney souvenirs. I just had a blast over there. More just random books on this shelf. We've got some ancient Egyptian pics. The Other Boleyn Girl. I loved how melodramatic and soapy that book is. I've got some graphic novels on this shelf as well. Snow Glass Apples. Just beautiful artwork. The Merchant of Venice. A graphic novel of Shakespeare's play. I've got a introduction to film studies book from college. I was really into film then. Oh, this is another photo album that I had printed off for 2019. We went on a road trip that year and a little lady golden book. I love this. So story behind this, my friend found this for me because when I asked my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids, I kind of created a fake copy of this book and put inside like a little story of lady asking them to be my bridesmaids. So one of my bridesmaids found this for me, the original, and she got it for me because Lady is my favorite Disney character. And over here, complete guide to needlework so I can stay up to date on all my stitching. The last shelf is super like boring and random, so don't really need to show it, but I do use that shelf to keep my Skyrim official game guide. You can see all the quests, see the maps, see the characters in this amazing guide. I have used this many a time, and you can see I've actually checked off some of the things in here. So, ooh, I love Skyrim. 
So that's my bookshelf tour. It's a little chaotic. It's a whole lot of fun. And I'll probably end up reorganizing it sometime this year. And when I do, I'll make sure to bring you along for that journey. Oh, let me show you my TBR cart too. This is my cute little TBR cart. So these are all the books that I'm wanting to read this year. I've made good progress so far. So some of the books that have been on here have ended up back on the bookshelf, but I don't think I have room for all of these to put back on the bookshelf. So I definitely need to get ahead and work on my reading room so I have more shelves for more books and I like this little bucket here I'll put the book that I just most recently finished so I remember to like film reviews for it and make a bookmark for it so I know that's like the active book that I have and that my friends truly is everything so thank you guys so much for watching let me know how you organize your bookshelves uh, maybe that can help me for reorganizing in the future I would love to see your comments make sure to like and subscribe to my channel stick around so we can talk about books and crafty things and ancient Egypt maybe and Titanic maybe <laughs> all right I'll see you guys next time bye